All right, patch point 14 finally dropped and with it came the new recoil mechanic. So I wanted to take a first impressions. Obviously there's lots of guns in Tarkov and there's lots of attachments and there's a lot to be seen on how this is going to feel over the course of a wipe. But what I wanted to do is make a video really quick with some first impressions with some guns that you can get immediately. So let's go ahead and dive right in. If you have ever wondered how to get better at PVP and escape from Tarkov, I have the answer for you. I have been saying for years now that the best way to get better is to give yourself the ability to learn from your deaths by watching back your clips. And that could not be any easier than with Outplayed. Outplayed is an awesome software that lets you do all sorts of stuff like screen record, take screenshots, record clips, and edit them and share them with your friends. It integrates with literally hundreds of games. And one of the coolest things about it is it allows you to record clips based on specific actions in specific games. For example, you can set it to automatically record a clip every time you die in Escape from Tarkov. And you can set how much you want recorded before that moment. This is incredibly important. Instead of just going back to your stash and wondering what happened, you can actually watch it back and see maybe there was another teammate that you didn't know about. Maybe your push wasn't the smartest play and you would have done something different. Doing this consistently will definitely improve your skills and help you start surviving more raids. And if in addition to that, you want to record some of your best clips, you can do that in Outplayed as well and edit them in the app and share them directly to your friends. Outplayed is simple, easy to download and absolutely free. If you want more information or if you want to get it installed, you can click the link down below. Thank you so much to Outplayed for sponsoring this video. Okay, so like I said, we have just a few guns here. I've got a pistol, the M4, and the AK. We're going to talk through kind of like how some of it feels. And then what I have is a before and after. I went through a ton of the guns that you can get day one and recorded shooting them at a fresh character level one skills on the old recoil. And towards the end of this video, we're just going to do kind of a before and after montage and a side by side. So you can actually see more than just these three guns and, um, you know, a side by side of how they feel. But before we dive into that, I just want to kind of show off a few things. I mean, this is a completely stock M4, even standing up. And the semi-auto is much more, instead of just going straight vertical, straight up into the sky, the the spread is limited. You do get some camera shake. You do get some like kind of backwards movement, but you can stay on the target. So even just crouching level one, level one skills, look at how tight you can keep your spread on semi-auto on a stock M4 completely nothing changed. That's pretty incredible. Same thing with the burst fire burst fire. You're going to get a little bit more of that like screen shake. So obviously we just switched to full auto. And you get kind of a much more violent rise. But if you keep it to two or three bullets, I mean, look at that spread, you know, at what is, I mean, 15, 20 feet or whatever. It's still so much more usable. This is obviously going to be something that will be obvious. It'll be easy to see how this can get better with some attachments. But once again, crouch and do some burst fire taps. Let me reload real quick. It's pretty... It's pretty usable, uh, and this is just at the beginning. And then full auto, it just kind of goes straight up and then gets a lot more violent on the top end. This will be completely unassisted by me as far as like moving my mouse. So it's nice because the vertical climb is aggressive. That's okay though, because you will be able to learn how to just pull down on that. What I like about the system, and we can show this with the AK as well, is that the most violence the gun gets is at the end while you're full autoing as opposed to in the old system at the beginning. The first few shots were the most violent and the hardest to control and then it would kind of taper off and be really easy to control at the end. This flips that script, which in theory means you would rather burst or semi-auto at certain distances, you know, farther away as opposed to going full auto because it's going to get harder to control at the end and not easier to control. So same thing, semi-auto with a stock AK-74 UB or whatever this is. Really, really controllable semi-auto tapping. Uh, and then, I mean, look at that spread. It's insane. Same thing with burst. Pretty easy to control. Slower fire rate means you're only getting two or three shots off. And then full auto is kind of the same thing. You can see it rise pretty just super straight vertically shots, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's really no horizontal spray. And then it starts to get really violent horizontally, which once again, there's still a lot of testing. I don't want to put a seal of approval or disapproval on it too quickly. But in theory, that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, the pistols are another interesting one. The camera shake seems pretty violent. But the spread is tight. Pistols were one where, uh, you know, pistols were pretty hard to use, especially pretty hard to spam. 
but if you kind of get used to it, once again, crouch to remove the recoil, try any amount of adjusting to keep it on target. And if you can get past a little bit of that shake, you can keep your spread super tight. So once again, there's still a lot to be seen on how much uh, the attachments are going to affect this. What's the difference between a meta gun and a stock gun? I mean, these spreads are pretty, pretty tight, even with me not really controlling them on a stock gun. So does that mean that the delta between meta and stock is much shorter or are meta guns even more meta and even more laser beamy? There's just no way for us to know now. But my first impressions of the system is that it's much more intuitive uh, that semi-auto and burst firing are much better. And this could be something that equalizes the game a little bit if, you know, a stock M4 or a lightly modded M4 isn't shooting freaking Jupiter after its third shot, then maybe a newer player has a little bit, you know, better of a chance if they get the jump on someone to kill a maybe a more chatted out player because their gun feels more intuitive and more usable. So we'll kind of end this video off with a... Uh, a montage of a bunch of the guns you can get at level one. I want to do this again once I can get some more attachments, but let's go check that out real quick. So that's the new recoil first impressions. Let me know what you think down below. Uh, if you like this video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. I'm probably live right now, either here on YouTube or over on Twitch. All those links will be down below. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with on this wipe, our Discord is an awesome place to be. That link is down below. Thank you guys for stopping by, and I'll definitely see you on the next one.